New Year Six bowl spot is on the line this Saturday as number 22 UCF takes on number 18 Tulane in the American Athletic Championship game. And guys, this is how conference championships are meant to be played. This has all of the excitement, all of the hype, and the highest stakes you can have for a group of five team. Because we, as we all know, the highest ranked group of five conference champion goes to a New Year's Six Bowl game. That will be determined on Saturday afternoon. The Knights beat Tulane three weeks ago at Tulane. They won in New Orleans, beat them 38-31. to Can the Knights do it again over Tulane? get their revenge, and continue what has been a magical season for them so far. We're here to break all that down, guys, and, of course, share our official prediction for who wins the American and who goes to a New Year's Six Bowl. So welcome back to the Gridiron Expert, guys. We're so glad you could join us today. As always, please continue to like, comment, subscribe, share our videos, and check out everything down in the description below, including our expert picks over on our website, thegridironexpert.com. Again, if you want spread picks for every single conference championship game, if you want spread picks for every single bowl game, if you want spread picks for every NFL playoff game, the gridironexpert.com is the place for you. We have packages for that. Go check it out. The link down in the description below. Sign up today, make some money with us, and become a part of our GE Nation. So let's take a look at this game, guys. There's a lot to unpack here. Again, a top 25 showdown. Winner goes to a New Year's Six bowl game. Loser goes to a decent bowl game, but the ultimate prize for any group of five team is to be that New Year's Six team. That is the ultimate prize. That is their national championship. Unless you have a freak incident, kind of like we had last year with Cincinnati, where they actually had a shot at a real national title by playing in the college football playoff. But that's few and far between. Making a New Year's Six bowl game is the ultimate prize for any group of five program, and UCF and Tulane are playing for that on Saturday. When you take a look at the offense, and we'll start with UCF, this is a very balanced offense for the Knights. They're averaging nearly 35 points per game, nearly 243 through the air, and 243.7 on the ground. This is a very dangerous and balanced attack, about as balanced as you can come. When you look at them a little bit deeper, though, the health of John Rice Plumley is going to be paramount in this game. It's the most important aspect for UCF coming into this championship game. He's thrown for over 2,100 yards and 13 touchdowns, leads the team in rushing, with 848 rushing yards and 11 touchdowns. He was injured last week in their thrilling win over USF. If he is unable to go, Mikey Keene will be the quarterback, a guy who is playing well, 647 yards, six touchdowns, only one interception, very accurate with the ball, takes good care of the football, but not nearly as electric as John Rice Plumley, who in the first meeting against Tulane had 176 rushing yards and two touchdowns. So John Rice Plumley is the key for this offense for UCF. If he is good to go 100%, UCF stands a great chance. If he's unable to go, they're going to lean more heavily on Mikey Keene and lean more heavily on their other running backs, such as R.J. Harvey, who has over 700 yards on the year, and Isaiah Bowser, who has over 675 rushing yards on the year. Ultimately, guys, UCF is a team that wants to run the football. They had 336 rushing yards in the first meeting against Tulane. Again, they won that game by 7, 38 to 31. If Tulane cannot stop the run, they're not going to win the game, plain and simple. If UCF can't run the ball and can't run it effectively, they're probably not going to win the game, plain and simple. So it all comes down to the ground game. Similar things can be said for Tulane. The Green Wave are averaging over 34 points per game, 223 through the air, and 192 on the ground. So pretty balanced, but not nearly as much as UCF and not nearly as explosive as UCF. Their quarterback, though, has been playing great football. Michael Pratt's been phenomenal. Over 2,300 yards, 21 touchdowns, just four interceptions. Also has a little bit of dual threat ability, 347 yards on the ground, nine touchdowns. So 30 touchdowns total to just four interceptions. Pretty dang good. The key player for me, the X factor of your two lane, is their running back, Ty J. Spears, who has over 1,100 rushing yards on the year and 14 touchdowns. He had 181 yards and two touchdowns last week against Cincinnati, a win that not only snapped Cincinnati's 32-game home winning streak, but ultimately sent Tulane to this championship game. So, unbelievable performance by Spears. Huge win for Tulane last week at Cincinnati. The run game is key, but ultimately finding a way to be somewhat balanced is key as well. They had 391 total yards in the first meeting against UCF. Not a horrible mark, but they were significantly outgained in that area. Significantly outgained as a whole. 391 total. UCF had 336 rushing. 
They've got to find a way to get a little bit more balance to try to meet UCF step for step and take care of the football. Tulane had two costly turnovers in that game against UCF. They need to be able to hold on to the ball and make sure they don't give UCF and that offense any extra opportunities to put points on the board. Defensively, what are the keys for both teams? UCF, you named it, you heard it, force turnovers. You've got to force turnovers and you have to stop the run. They allowed only 155 rushing yards to Tulane in the first meeting. That's not a horrible mark. That's almost 40 yards below average for Tulane, 155 in, in the first meeting. They allow 212 passing yards per game on the year. They allow 149 rushing yards per game on average. If I'm UCF, I'm saying Tulane beat me through the air. Michael Pratt, beat me through the air. Come at me. We're going to bottle up Ty J Spears. We're going to prevent you from running the ball. Come win it through the air. Threaten our defensive backs. Can Michael Pratt do that? Yes, he can. We've seen it. He had a pretty dang good game against Cincinnati. But taking away a, a major strength for, uh, for Tulane, making them a little bit more one-dimensional, that's going to be the key for UCF on top of doing what they did last time, that is forcing turnovers and winning that battle. When you look at Tulane, the defense has been the strength of the Green Wave all year long. Uh, that is the reason that they are in this spot right now. Is the other offense has done well, but the defense is the major reason, giving up less than 20 points per game, 19.8 on the year, only 182 passing yards per game, and 155 rushing yards per game. The ultimate key, clearly, is to stop the run, especially if John Rice Plumley is not playing. Even if he is playing, it's going to be a major concern, but if he's not playing, bottle it up and force Mikey Keene to beat you through the air. Again, they allowed 336 rushing yards in the first meeting against the Knights. You've got to stop that, and you can't allow that to happen again. I'm not saying you have to make UCF completely one-dimensional because they are going to put some rushing yards up on you. But even taking 336 and bringing it down to 236, to 220, Cutting that down by about 100 yards or so would be huge for Tulane. Again, a Tulane team that only lost the first meeting by a touchdown despite giving up so many yards. If they can just be a little bit better up front, bottle that up and force UCF to win through the air, which is not what they want to do, make them a little bit more uncomfortable, Tulane will have a shot to win this game. That will be the key. The key. So what's going to happen, guys? I mean, I, I think that to me this is one of the more underrated matchups of the weekend, conference championship weekend. You know, I think all eyes are on the Big 12 uh, will TCU fall to Kansas State? All eyes are on the Pac-12. Will USC fall to Utah? Obviously, the top four teams in the country, our eyes are going to be on them. But one high-quality opponent, one high-quality team in the top 15 is going to have to play Tulane or UCF. This game is important. It means a lot for the New Year's Six Bowl games. It means a lot for these two programs and these two coaches and Gus Malzahn and Willie Fritz, who I personally have a lot of respect for. Ultimately, guys, I'm going to say this. This is a game between two teams that, to me, look and feel relatively even. It's a very, very hard game to pick. But it is very, very hard to beat the same team twice, especially in such a short amount of time. It was only three weeks ago when UCF beat Tulane on the road. I think Tulane has righted some wrongs. I think they're carrying a lot of momentum. And while that game three weeks ago was a big deal, this game is even bigger. The home crowd's going to show up. They're going to show out. The Tulane defense is going to fix the rushing problem. They're going to spottle up that UCF run defense. They're going to find a way to win this game. Tulane has shown me a lot this year. They showed me a lot last week by winning in a hostile environment at Cincinnati with the home crowd on their side, knowing what's at stake, possibly clinching this conference championship, their first in the American, possibly advancing to a New Year's Six Bowl game to continue their best season since 1998. I don't think Willie Fritz and his squad let this one slip away like they did three weeks ago. Give me Tulane to win the American Conference and go to a New Year's Six Bowl game. Who would have predicted this who would have thought this back in the preseason nobody at all but that my friends is the beauty of college football and we are in for a thriller on saturday in new orleans give me tulane though to take down the knights in a close one so guys as always thank you so much for watching us here at the gridiron expert on youtube as always please continue to like comment subscribe share our videos check out everything down in the description below including those expert picks over on our website thegridironexpert.com again we have spread picks for every conference championship game, every college football bowl game, and every NFL playoff game. No one else is going to do that. We're going to find it right here at the Gridiron Expert. The link for that down in the description below. Go sign up for those today. And once again, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on the Gridiron Expert. Yeah.